So now in this video, I thought it'd be fun to take a measurement using my oscilloscope here of this fast flashing LED. And you can actually see the uh, measurement that I just recently took. We're going to do that again. So let's uh, zoom in and get a closer look at this pocket oscilloscope right here. And so I have a link to uh, an Amazon page I made where I recommend basically stuff from Amazon. Generally it's stuff I use in my videos or especially if it's out of my price range something I'd really like and usually it will have good reviews or whatnot and so I'm guessing it's probably a good purchase. So first we're going to go to time base to clear this out. I have not found a better way to clear this out but uh, to lower the time base and so that will change how fast the uh, screen updates there and uh, we go way down so if we measure it now it's the uh, lines just gonna jump up and down rapidly so I'm gonna clip it there and there you can see it's uh, changing rapidly let's uh, change the time there you can see now it's moving so that's kinda interesting too so but uh, it's uh, higher and lower for uh, periods of time so in any case there you go that looks interesting too. I think that will update. Yeah, it updates time to time. So, we're gonna lower the time down. And so, I didn't have to reset it yet, but with the higher times, you do. So, you can see trigger, it's uh, it's yellow. Doesn't look like that's showing up. There's a yellow stripe there. We could also trigger for the uh, channel A, but there's uh, a wire that broke off in there from an old probe. And then we go up here to uh, the voltage, and the lower the number that you have. So right now it's one volt. That's for each square. If we go here. It's two volts per square, so you won't get as much movement. This one seems to look pretty nice. And then uh, 0.5. That'll be 0.5 for each square. So it'll be two squares for each volt. And also, let's uh, let's go back. I don't want to do that. I want to clear that. There we go. Go back to here. You can see a uh, post right there. So if it's up about halfway with the voltage settings we have now, it starts going over the uh, top. So, oops, it clears out after a little while. So, I want that post down a little bit right there. So, so in any case, I think we mostly covered everything we have the windows there the uh, post that's that yellow there we can get it oops it changed what I wanted to change so you can see the yellow post there now we gotta go up to to get it to the right so that's the settings that's the main settings and uh, not too terribly complicated once you get a feel for it so, let's actually take the measurement. So first thing I'm going to do is put the time base up to 2 seconds so that it moves slowly across the screen. I'm going to zoom back a little bit. The probe I have right here, it also has a ground on there. I'm just going to leave this floating. You don't have to attach it to anything. And so we got a little hook right there. And I'm going to attach that to the protective resistor 220 ohm resistor that is protecting the LED from 5 volts you can see right there and I'm gonna let it flash fast and then when it looks like it's probably close to about not flashing fast anymore I'm gonna connect it so I timed that pretty good so yeah you can see the yeah, movements there as the brightness of the LED changes Well, there it's rapidly changing three different LEDs now it's going slower and you can see some steps and stuff so I find that interesting at least and uh, hopefully you do so that's uh, one of my tests of this oscilloscope and looking at what the voltages are doing with the LED there so I link uh, most of the products I use in my videos down in the description and so uh, if you're especially if you're in the United States if you order something after clicking one of my links, then 
I'll probably get a percentage of it and I get a list of items that were bought. I get no personal information just list of items that were bought so if I see an oscilloscope or LEDs or something are being bought then I know more people are interested in it so I make more videos on those topics so uh, it's up to you either just watch and like the videos or you can click the product links or my patreon page it all helps so thanks for watching I will see you in the next video